Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. We just completed Goku Black, the last of the perspectives, uh, character stories, and now we're going to go back and do the alternate decisions of everybody. And it was only a few, most of them came from Goku, but uh, we're going to go back and check all of them out. Uh, Gohan, his main story in the game, uh, sees him survive. Um, against dispo in universe uh in universe um what you call them in universe uh sevens uh tournament of power arc so we're definitely going to take a look at him so i think all we did all of them open up i think all of them opened up hold up did all the alternate storylines open up now? It looked like it did. Hold on. Goku and Planet Namek Art. Okay, something's gonna. So, okay, okay, so first, the first alternate storyline has to be when we make the decision on whether or not we're gonna go with Raditz, or if we're gonna go to go with Piccolo to defend uh, Gohan. So I think this is the first one right here. We, we do this one. We, so on this one, instead of Goku going with Piccolo, he decides to go by himself. This this is the alternate story for this one right here. So for this for this what if story we have to choose to go by ourselves. I was pursuing him. Hold on, you mean? Don't get the. And we ain't gotta really listen to the same dialogue twice. And this one we're gonna decide to go alone. So this is what if Goku <laughs> went to face said. Raditz alone when Gohan got kidnapped. And decided Goku, not to team up with Piccolo. Keep calm. We all know you can do this. Let me come with you. The three of us together could whip that guy easy. Sorry, Krillin, but you've already been brought back to life by Shenron once before. If anything were to happen to you now, you'd be gone for good. Maybe so, but don't let yourself get killed, Goku, or we're all dead. Master Roshi's right. Let us back you up if you need it. Krillin, Master Roshi, you're the best. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever out. keep you down. Boomer. You're the best Got the Dragon Raider around. Working? Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You bet. I should have realized that was the four-star Dragon Ball on Gohan's hat. All right. It's all or nothing now. Goku, wait. Jesus Christ, man. Bulma, let's follow them. So cruel. Say what? So Krillin ended up going. So instead of Piccolo going with him this time, Krillin went with him. Hey, Goku declines Piccolo's invite and takes Gohan back with Krillin and Master Roshi. Master Roshi boards the aircraft with Bulma and Goku and the others go to find Raditz. They had intended to launch a surprise attack, but they are detected by Raditz and Scouter. They abandon their plan and decide to face him head on. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this, but you have no idea how out of your league you are. You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could trade yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to that level. 
But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! In trembling fear! How about this? That was so annoying. How about this? Bro, come on, what the? You know, I'm gonna restry it because this, this is stupid. Because getting knocked back knowing full well I'm doing the dodge. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could trade yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Pickle! If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. So Piccolo came there any damn way. So you've been developing a new technique too? Well, Just got when so I thought I might have closed the gap between us. All right, let's go. Wait, you got a new move too? Yeah, but what the power level 1,307? Watch me the back of here. Pop up. Still head butted raddits. Please let this work. And in this, and in this storyline, idiots. That's not gonna be enough. Lightning surprise attack. What? Master Roshi, here, giving him the business. Master Roshi, now Piccolo, end it. Special beam cannon. So I wonder if this... How could I have been beaten by such a small fry? So I wonder if this storyline do Vegeta and Nappa even make it to Earth. Goku and his friends work together to beat Raditz. However, he warns them in a one year... Okay, so Vegeta and Nappa actually make it to Earth. Goku and his... Goku contacts his friends and they start a strict training regimen under the watchful eye of Kami. However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. He tries his best to follow their lead, but he knows that he will only hold them back. Then Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out that they have been too kind to Gohan in their training. He informs them that he will take over Gohan's training. Okay, so this is and this is how okay. I'll leave Gohan's Gohan training learns to, to you. fight. Goku? Are you nuts? So he doesn't leave him in the wilderness this time. They train on Kami's lookout. I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we could get. Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo's an amazing fighter, and if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Goku continues to complete their training with Kami, and each of them continue to work on individual skills. They then they gather, since it's the fruits of their labor. You guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. I 
finally finished developing that technique I was teasing before. Can't wait to show you. We're treating today's training as serious as the real battle to come. And we'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? Oh, dang. So we got to make the decision on what... So first things first, man. Let's fight Yamcha. Let's just get, get Yamcha out the way. Yamcha! You game to train with me? Totally. Better give me all you've got, Goku, because I can tell if you're holding back. Yep, that's the plan. I don't care what anybody say. Yamcha is still goaded. They just messed him. They just messed up. Messed him up in the story. They just abandoned him completely. I gotta switch to the other control scheme because this I don't know, this modern control scheme don't really fit. Or the, the classic control scheme doesn't really fit with this game as, as, as well as I thought it would. There's extra defensive buttons that you gotta you kind of have to makeshift with the classic control scheme. They didn't make it as easy to use in this game. Goku and others have tested their power and they return to their training and preparation for the Saiyan's attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyan's appear on Earth. The Saiyan's send multiple Cybermen to test Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily set off the threat. Finally, a Saiyan called Nappa decides. Okay, so in this one, in this timeline, Yamcha doesn't get blown up by the Cybermen, and that time and that mess up got correct. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Guess I'll be killing Kakarot first. Don't get cocky because you defeated Raditz. I'm twice as powerful as that rat. Vegeta, I have no Vegeta, use for a remember when we squashed a bug planet, Vegeta? Vegeta, 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 
Jitter, jitter, jitter. Jitter, jitter, jitter. Damn, I thought somebody would have finished the finished the song. But you cheater, cheater. Jitter, jitter, jitter. But you cheater, cheater. But cheater, cheater, cheater. Jeter, jeter, jeter. Yo, I had to bring up the the chat. See if somebody got the uh got the what you call them. Vija Jeter Jeter. Jita Jita Jeter. Vija Jeter Jeter. Damn bro, don't nobody get the Why would you get the tell reference? Your own partner? <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be That's taken crazy. down by such low-class warriors. Don't nobody get the, uh, the reference. I'm gonna feel like I'm by myself here. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? Huh. You're a poor excuse for a saying. Namekian. Namekian. Yes, the Namekian people are said to have mysterious hidden abilities. Magical ones, in fact. I see. You must have been the one who created these Dragon Balls, aren't you? Wouldn't you like to know? Vegeta has been injured by Goku in rage. He transforms into a great ape. However, Piccolo had destroyed the moon during his training with Gohan to combat Go Gohan's great ape transformation. Vegeta realizes the moon isn't there. Instead, he creates a powerful ball to transform into a great ape. The three, the three of them share a remaining Senzu being between them to face off Goku's Vegeta's great ape form. I'll break you! <laughs> Kakarot, these will be your final moments before I crush you! Am I losing my mind? I turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? Damn it. It was bad enough when Gohan turned into one of these hulking things, but this is a hundred times worse. I finally figured it out. The monster that stomped my grandpa Gohan to death I smashed up the tournament arena all those years ago. That... That was me, wasn't it? I might as well let you know. The power level of the Saiyan when they transformed into a great ape is ten times their normal strength. That's it. I'll break you. Crap! 
Just when I thought you couldn't get any more powerful. Don't give up, Goku. It might look hopeless, but we've survived this far. Krillin? Not just me, bud. Yamcha and Chaozu and Gohan. We're all with you. Krillin, what are you thinking? Why would you bring them all here now? Because it's all or nothing at this point. Plus, I've got a plan. And I need everyone to pull it off. There we go. People will be wondering, how, how did you beat the Great Apes in there? Now, Bruh, all three of us need to hit Just him with go to max power, player. that's how you stagger him. Just go to max power, that's all you gotta do. The Great Ape fight was never difficult for me. I don't know why everybody was complaining. And mine's is set to default difficulty. I don't know if people was just over-exaggerating and they were like being distant. Oh, damn, they all got solar flare. It's a wrap. You're elite for it. Oh, he's paralyzed. Right, he's a telekinetic. Chouch's paralysis is working. Okay, this is our chance, guys. No need for a spirit bomb. They just sent him to the next world. We did it. So in this timeline. Goku goes to fight Raditz by himself. They train instead of Gohan going into a wilderness because Goku died and then Piccolo trained him. Piccolo ends up training Gohan on Kami's lookout instead. Yamcha doesn't survive. I mean, does, Yamcha doesn't get blown up by a Cyberman. They all survive. And instead of using a spirit bomb, they all team up together. You know, Chaozu didn't blow himself up. So we actually managed to beat that guy, and we did it together. <laughs> they really yeah, we did, worked together but I don't to beat have much Vegeta. Left in me after all that. Looked like Vegeta doesn't survive to become an ally in this fight, timeline. But we were more than prepared for. Huh? The, the sand. Don't worry, Gohan. Can't hurt you now. You were the worst enemy we ever faced. But I guess the least we can do is give you a burial. Who's burying whom? Oh, never mind. He's alive. Uh -huh. Who's burying who? No coin is friends are certain of victory. Are certain of victory. However, Vegeta survives their attack with the sheer immensely of his life force. Immensity of his life force. Goku and the others have used up all their energy in this life or death struggle. However little it, it may be, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key, drawing on the meager amount they challenge Vegeta once again. Or, despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand him. Goku buys time, while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Oh wow! What do you hope to do with such little? Now, Piccolo! Do it! Special beam cannon! So instead of Piccolo firing a special beam cannon again, whoa, what the hell? Vegeta narrowly dodges Piccolo attack and frees himself against Goku. Go Goku! So he still, as a result, Goku takes a full brunt force of special beam cannon and loses consciousness. Shot him right through the chest. When Goku comes up, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegeta. The dude got a Daddy. hole in his chest. No. My son. Now my friends. So this is how. Does Goku turn into a Super Saiyan in this timeline? No. Get away. Or he uses an angry Kamehameha. Vegeta survives. Look like. 
Oh, never mind. He doesn't make it to the space pod. With his life on the line, Goku final punch collides with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons his spaceship in an attempt to return home. Krillin, determined to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku Krillin. stops him. Krillin begging, I'm begging you, you. Oh. Just let him go. I know it's selfish, but I don't I don't want him to die. With these final words, Goku takes his last breath. Choosing to honor Goku's final wish, Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. Bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good! Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies back to Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet. As for Goku, after his death in the battle of Vegeta, with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companions and battling other Saiyans. He arrives before King Kai within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth, cornered by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel to planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Gohan wishing to become as strong as possible before a Saiyan attacks Earth again ignores Chi Chi and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Nearly one month later, Goku surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a curse on a course for Earth. Goku rushes to notify his friends that they are that they need to revive him. With the Dragon Balls, he is back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions travel to the site where Vegeta Key is and they prepare for battle. Okay. What's up? Vegeta, I didn't expect to face you again so soon. playing these alternate timelines, don't Yeah, yeah, these alternate timelines are fire. I don't know why. What's, what's up, Justin? What's up, Milo? Uh, Vegeta didn't expect to see so soon. If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors. That's good. Listen up, all of you. If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal. <laughs> If you don't believe me, believe this. The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe. F Frieza? And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power. Frieza is considered absolutely invincible. But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls. You, you gotta be kidding me. After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend. <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. <laughs> Guys. It's okay, could you leave this one to me? You got it. We're counting on you, Goku. Get ready to see my real strength. Vegeta. I can tell you've gotten even stronger than last time. Am I right? Naturally. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. Done! <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was going to say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Leagues upon leagues ahead of you! Get ready to start! Galleon! How can Kekron outpass me? 
fury what could be to my advantage. I wonder if he's going to try to turn into a great ape again. Why do I look like Vegeta keep looking at his, uh, at his pickle? Bro, why literally look like Vegeta keep glazing him, bro? What? Hey, yo, this was like a bad place to stop the fight. He literally looked like he just glazing Goku up and down. Like, look at this, man. Like, what the hell is going on here? Showing a... Like in this moment, like Vegeta giving him kind of like a new meaning to Saiyan pride. You need to be careful, man. Like, like he's literally doing it, bro. Like, what the? Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? Vegeta was looking at him up and down, up and down, like, uh, uh I ain't know they made Saiyans like that on Earth. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. Yeah, An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you, guys. I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Good thing you didn't turn just a little more. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Anything. I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Ball hey, than look, sacrifice his pride. Vegeta was doing it, you know. Really that is peak stronger than was you and peaking. Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? That's the wrong thing. Oh, you wanted them Dragon Balls, all right. I believe you. And I think we have no other choice but to join forces. And holy was <laughs> Oh, man. With that, Goku and his companions begin to cooperate with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who was on the way to Earth. Goku wasn't moving. I'm just saying, he was letting them look, man. It happened. Vegeta and Goku trained together, refining their combat skills, using a gravity chamber developed by Goku's father. One day, the team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realizes that the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of Key, Tien decides to leave Chiaotzu behind while Goku and his friends travel to Frieza's unexpected landing point. Expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival Kui, but Vegeta has grown stronger from training and defeats him easily. So, which one of you wants to die next? Oh, look, it's Zarbon. It's Zarbon. Don't start getting a swollen head oh, just Vegeta, because you I'm hiding on the other side of myself. Where in a closet? <laughs> the door, yeah, a bridge will always on. be goaded. I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think TV? Or why he sound like he moaning every time he talk, bro? Is it just me, freezer? or does Zarbon, Zarbon really sound like he just moaning as he speaks? Like he gets turned off from hearing, like he gets turned on from hearing himself talk. That's, that, tell me, Zarbon doesn't sound like that. He literally sits there, sounds like he's just like enthralled with his own voice. Oh my God, Vegeta! I cannot believe you like Sprite over Coca-Cola. Mm. How parsha! Mm, Prince of all Saiyans, do you dip your cookies in milk? I personally lick the cream of Oreos before I eat the cookie. Okay, that's creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is Zarbon 101. 
<laughs> that is Zarbar. That's because he does. If you thought Goku was peeking, Zarbar. <laughs> oh, man. You can't tell me that's You're not Zarbar. You're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait. I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me. <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct. I wonder if Cooey's. Oh no, Cooey got defeated off off cam. Hey, here's a question. Is the Dara the only one? Well, that thing has missed twice. something I punch myself into the blast that gotta be a first your energy with me for a spirit bomb I wonder if I can make that beer if I gather energy first ain't that some shit Allow me. I don't want to hear Zarbon talking about finishing no jobs. Like, that's the last person in Dragon Ball history that needs to be talking about finishing a job. Dude literally fights in a damn and, and thigh highs in a G-string. Milo, appreciate the follow. Ooh, dang. Appreciate the follow. This doesn't make any sense. How the hell did a couple of Saiyans get this strong? <laughs> Lord Teresa must be informed. Of this Especially coming from his mouth, right? Like Zarbon is not the one to be talking about finishing. No jobs. But that can mean so much. And none of them are the things we want to admit that uh you want to be a part of unless you roll like that unless you roll like that but but that is up to individual me on the other hand me i won't participate i personally will run the other way oh and it will be a run Goku and Vegeta have defeated Dodora and Zarbon. Damn. And oh, the Ginyu Force came to Earth? Bro, this storyline got is actually nice, actually. So they never went to Namek. The first blood is mine to draw. Remember, Goldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get grit. Bro, is it mad that I thought he said At first listen? He said, 
I understand he said Gildo. But low key, it sounded like he said something else. And taking that in the consideration with the fact that Raccoon speaks with a lisp. Nah, nah, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Nah, I'm tripping, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? No diddy, man. Ha <laughs> ha! What a gentleman this guy is, Gudo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans forgetting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Okay. Another side note. I made this in like several parts before. Tell me, am I tripping? The Ginyu Force low-key are reflections of the Z Fighters. At the very least, some of them. You cannot tell me you don't see Gildo or Guldo and, and you don't see Krillin. Like, in a way, you have to see that. Like, Jace and Loki is Yamcha. Guldo is Krillin. I think Captain Ginyu would fit Vegeta. Raccoon, I don't know who to compare him to, nor nor Berta. But there's something there. It's something there, man. Like, it's something there. And I might be on to something, so. I'm gonna shut up. A paralysis beam that far? Throws that tree. Oh no, he doesn't. Get ready to see that, per that paralysis makes me an AOE. <laughs> You're going way too easy on these morons. This is all of Goku's what ifs. I wonder if this is going to affect some of the other storylines now that I think about it. Vegeta comes annoyed with witnessing Goldo and Goku's battle. He begins arguing that they have no time to fight one-on-one. -on -one. The Ginyu Force agrees with Vegeta's propo proposal. Joining up with Gildo, they all come together to fight as one and attack Goku and his friends. You maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force. Nay, the entire galaxy! Raccoon! Beta. You can play every outcome. I can. Jace! Guldo! Ginyu! Take it away! Slaughter them all with style. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna matter if I pick. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna matter if I pick uh, Goku or um, not Goku, but Yamcha or Krillin to fight against. Why do I want to switch characters? There gotta be a button to switch characters. 
the left d-pad i'm playing with the classic control so it's not giving me an option it's just moving around how do i do it on the classic controls i want to go back and change it because i don't think the classic controls really work for this game as well as i would like to think Is this supposed to be like a short attack or is that supposed to be like a... Oh. There's the rock. There's the tree. Get ready to see my real strength. Oh, rocks again. Share your energy with me. far less than an opponent's power up. Like the first time I played Raditz, I beat Raditz and ended up turning into Super Saiyan and turning Super Saiyan against Vegeta. Hell, did I get beaten by such a weakling? Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Hey now, it's bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. Oh, that's stupid. How the hell did he get me like that? Raditz with Piccolo or, or Krillin. Um, I ended up beating. Oh, I ended up beating Raditz with Goku. In this storyline, Goku went to fight uh, Raditz by himself. That's what kind of triggered everything that's happening right now. Like they never went to Namek to fight to, to find Frieza. supposed to get beat Raditz with Krillin or Piccolo in order to get a different outcome. You're a little tougher than I thought. I'll kill you quick. 
You're not taking another step. Goku, this one will be my opinion. Yes, I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raccoon! Bro, how the hell do I switch? Chocolate parfait for being such a I have no player. way of knowing how to switch characters. <laughs> not on this control screen. <laughs> It's almost like there's no way to change the classic control scheme. I want to switch characters, but I, I literally can't do it on this control scheme. If this is the old control scheme, I'll be able to do it just fine. Oh, right, I'm jumping in. Your energy with me. For a spirit I can, just not on this control scheme. It's R1 on classic. Controls. No, that's not it. There's no switch icon in the pickle oak under Goku, so he's supposed to do this all on his own. Change panel. No, I'm just looking for. Yeah, they don't have one, so I'm just Goku out. Look like I'm gonna end up having to do this fight over again because I don't think I got enough to. Um, they don't want me to fight Captain Ginyu. Join the party. Yeah. All right, let's. I'm getting excited. Yeah. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Fucking stupid fight over again. Ain't this some shit? I don't like the way that the the classic controls they don't respond the way they're supposed to. Cause they when they made the the modern controls, they did it underneath. I don't like. Like when they did the modern controls, they kind of did it in a weird way, right? Yeah, I got it now. I just thought I was going to be able to switch characters. And I can't do it in this fight. So I, I figured, okay, well... 
I'm gonna lose some health as Goku, and then I'll just change to like Yamcha or like Krillin or something. Soon. I know online it's not gonna work. But I'm the fastest in the whole damn universe. I guess that makes Goku the new fastest in the universe. Being a number two fits you pretty well, though. Shut your face. Boy, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss heads? All right, I'm jumping in. Whoa! <laughs> Nice work. Yeah. 
I'm kind of giving this motherfucker hits, bro. this control skin because I, I don't get much from it the classic control skin it don't work as good in this game bro. I don't want to change right now it's just bro. it just don't work like you don't have as many options with the classic control skin And then the defense don't really work the way it's supposed to. That's the point that really pisses me off because it's like I can't even do my own my instinctive dodge at all. Yeah, I'm, uh, no, I'm using um, the classic control scheme from uh, Tenkaichi 3. So, the thing is, Tenkaichi 3, that control scheme doesn't have as many defensive options as, as, um, as, this, as, as the standard game does, as the standard controls do. Or rather, you gotta do them differently, and it's it, it's ten times harder. in the universe. Being a number two fits you pretty well, though. Shut your face. Oi, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss heads? All right, I'm jumping in. Whoa! 
the same. Can you sit? About time the strongest of the bunch joined the party. Well, give me my defense. Take this. I'm literally doing my moves and just not giving me my shit. Get ready to see my real strength. <laughs> Absurd. Yeah, I'm gonna have to the switch back to the, uh, to the standard control scheme. I tell you, because I can't do no like I have no defensive options with this classic. Finding their powers, Goku and Vegeta. Def Goku and Vegeta forced the Ginyu force to retreat. Seeing that their will is broken, Goku orders them to return to their planet. Instead, the Ginyu Force spots an opening and tries to kill Goku while his guard is down, only to be cut down by Vegeta. After Vegeta's devastating attack, it was only Ginyu who remains. When the enemy leader Frieza emerges, Frieza orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls, and Ginyu leaves. Vegeta, Vegeta follows in pursuit. Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza Force. Goku, of course, turns down the offer, but he can sense that Frieza is far stronger than any enemy they faced before. It is, that, it is then that Vegeta, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to Goku and the others. Before they know what's happening, Vegeta begins attacking Goku and friends. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is. Oh, damn, that's... With a first-hand experience. Vegeta, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Ginyu... Before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure. But we have to keep on fighting or we're toast. So Vegeta ended up getting his body snatched by, by Ginyu. No diddy. So dark. Here it goes. I'm not getting no damn defense. I swear, bro, you, you have no defense options with this. Kakarot, don't you dare injure my body! Is that... can you? Wait, your body? No, no way! Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap bodies with another. Vegeta's strength is mine to wield! I'm mad because I'm, I'm I'm hitting the fucking defense button and it's not giving me my damn vanish. And I know I'm timing this damn thing right. Pardon me, Captain Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain the Dragon Balls? No, of course not, Lord Frieza. But I haven't yet located anyone with a power level high enough to match your description. Naturally, because these vermin have the ability to control their power levels. Thus, the Namekian who created the Dragon Balls is probably suppressing his power level and hiding somewhere as we speak. I think it would be cool if they made all the characters have playable storylines. Well, they made it to where you can actually create your own. I think it would be really cool if they made all the characters in a playoff. Even using Vegeta's I mean, body, why can't I kill you? Technically, they can make their own story. Like you can make your own Dragon Ball Z storyline. 
I think it's like custom or something like that, where you, like you can re- literally make your own cutscenes. There's no other choice then. I'll just take your body instead. Change now! Kakarot, get out of the way! Whoa. I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta. I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Change now! Stop! With Ginyu temporarily stunned, Tien narrowly avoids his body stolen. You froze for a second. What happened? That technique. It must be. Chouchou! Oh, he threw the frog. So, go Ginyu still turns into a frog. Chouchou throws the frog at him. Chouchou uses telekinesis to change Ginyu's body with a frog. And the battle was won. Yeah, it's crazy. Concerned for the wounded, Goku and Vegeta, Krillin, and the others hand them Senzu beans to heal. Even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone, and Vegeta is cooked to be required. However, Frieza is enraged, seeing his underlings beating, he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to do battle with me one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Now, feast your eyes. What incredible energy! His power is practically doubled! You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitty. Get ready to see my real strength! That's a damn dodge. Why the hell is he getting the damage and I have no clue? <laughs> this is taking longer than I wanted. Freeze in the midst of the next step of his transformation and intends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful than him he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the dust of despair, Freeza orders his soldiers to eliminate Goku's wounded allies. Just as the legions of troops appear from Freeza's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to, to bring Chiatsu back home. 
Our heroes give their last Senzu beans to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza while Frieza's soldiers, despite their own wounds, aimed with the Senzu bean in hopes of Kent. In hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle of Frieza for one last time. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What? The, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one. Idiot. It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him! How can a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? But I've grown tired of this charade. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. My true power. Now get ready. The wait is over. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. What are you waiting for? Eat that last sensu bean and be quick about it! But, Vegeta! But... But what about... Just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength! Forgive me, Vegeta. Bang. Don't oh, shut up! You're far more wounded than I am! Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy! You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life! A warrior who fights to protect people they care about! Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture! Vegeta? You still don't understand what it means to be a Saiyan! So now I'll set the example! You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! It sucks that the biggest drawback to making a strong enough spirit bomb is how long it takes to gather the energy for it. Vegeta may not last long against Frieza. Please, Goku. Take my energy as I'm afraid you're 
light them up. All right, I need you to stay in for at least another 30 minutes while I run down to the tread. <laughs> Say, while I run to the treadmill. All right. What's this? A sparking episode. Is that what I think it is? I I've never seen a mass of energy that size. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam cannon! Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd been taken care of! I'm beset on all sides by sneaky, parasitic flies! You just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience! You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! Okay, it's finally ready! Do it! Go, go! What have you done?! And with that, Frieza has been swallowed. Swallowed. Have you ever been swallowed? With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza and the Spirit Bomb. With the Spirit Bomb, Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth, as they should be on planet Namek. Seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. Typically, true heroes are the ones worthy of obtaining the Dragon Balls. However, once it's discovered that God of the Earth is a Namekian, permission to use the Dragon Balls is granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende uses his mysterious powers to heal the wound. Wait a minute, hold on. So, they just confirmed something with that. A Namekian boy called Dende. Namekians actually have a gender. They're men. They just spit out eggs this and that's how they continue their race. So we'll no longer be fighting alongside None of that non-binary stuff. They're dudes. Mark my words. One day soon, I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party, too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Know about you guys but i'm totally starving thanks to the bravery of goku and the others frieza is defeated frieza the planet defeated. earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now the war was won but the battles are far from over for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon This game looks so far, I can't wait to play. No, it's definitely a good game. This is a what, yeah, it's a what if. The saga continues. So in this story, so Deoxys, in this storyline, going all the way back to the Saiyan saga, when Raditz kidnapped Gohan and Goku in the main timeline, or in the original timeline, he teamed up with Piccolo to go fight him. In this particular timeline, Goku actually goes to fight Raditz alone, and Krillin and Master Roshi goes with him. So all this happened because Goku went to go fight Raditz by himself. And then they never went to planet Namek. The Ginyu Force and Frieza, they show up, they actually show up on Earth. 
and that's where the fight happens in in this timeline go goku never went super saiyan they, they they just beat him as is so yeah so that's a, that's a crazy what if i actually like that what if let me make sure we ain't missing um Missing all other alternate timelines, cause th th that was all the Goku's. That's that's dope. I actually like the way that is. Okay, so this is where it branches off. In in, in Goku's Saiyan arc right here, it it branches off that when he fights Raditz by himself, all this all that happened. So I think that was one of his storylines. I think there's another one somewhere we got to check out okay here here's one right here so something happens in a decision right here that we got to check out <laughs> 